。自动驾驶车辆在纽约街头穿梭，搭载的不是乘客，却是一箱又一箱的蔬果。Um, so in this way, we're not only able to get food where it is needed, we're also doing it in a way that increases safety. You know, is working towards stopping traffic congestion, and so it, it was really the perfect marriage、uh, between our two technologies. 自动驾驶车辆变身职工，把超市里需要淘汰但还是完好的食物送到非政府组织手上，再发送给需要的人。不但协助自动驾驶展开测试，也解决了食物浪费的问题，让更多家庭因此获得温饱。It's making a quite difference, especially due to the pandemic, the high inflation.、Um, people just can't、um, buy the amount of food that they used to. So this comes in very handy for especially low-income families. 想出利用不同科技协助解决困境的是食物拯救计划组织的创办人利扎罗多。You know, 40 percent, almost half the food, up to half the food in the United States, can get wasted. This is a land of surplus, and it doesn't get wasted because you know we don't have enough technology to harvest or to store food. It gets wasted because there's simply too much. 出身菲律宾移民家庭，感受过生活的大起大落。利扎罗多积极关注贫困家庭的生活问题，发现只要利用科技平台，就能把食物过剩的环保问题以及穷困家庭缺乏食物的困境同时改善。因此，在2016年成立 APP， 号召职工一同协助分送过剩的食物。You download the app. You sign up as a volunteer. And you turn on your push notifications, and once you do that, you're all set, and、um, you will receive push notifications of food that is available to rescue near you. You can click on one that fits your schedule, is convenient for you, and to date, we have about 35,000 people that receive push notifications in these cities of the available food rescues. 目前 ，A P P 已经在美国还有加拿大二十五个城市里推广，鼓励民众利用下班或是逛街途中协助运送多余的食物，避免增加太多的碳足迹。布朗太太就是在接送小孩的路程当中，顺便过来帮忙。Good win to deliver food to our neighbors as well as to keep food out of the landfills. 目前，这个机构已经协助运送超过六千四百万份的食物，减少大量的厨余垃圾，等于降低将近两万公吨的碳排放量。Food rescue hero is technology for good, but I would say more than being technology for good, it is technology that is people powered. It's technology that won't work otherwise. 改变以往被动等待职工协助，利用科技平台，同时解决食物浪费、饥饿的问题，还能协助减少碳足迹，甚至还有利于自动驾驶的开发。透过整合，就能集合更多的力量，用不同的方式，真正改变世界。TVB 新闻综合报道。